I don't believe that the Bible is the story of what happened. I believe it's the story of what always happens. And so the things that happen in scripture are still happening today. And one of my favorite stories is I was on Huntington Beach in California, which, as you know, is like a godless area. And we just set up a sound system and started ministering the gospel and singing worship. And we have a crowd of over a thousand people that that accumulates. And I'm basically telling everybody, you know, it's one thing to receive forgiveness for Christ, but you have to extend forgiveness to other people. The Bible says, how could you expect Christ to forgive you if you're still holding unforgiveness against someone else? And a lot of this tour was just me trying to preach the biblical gospel, because sometimes I think in, in America, you know, we preach some of the gospel, but not all of the gospel. And so I was telling people, OK, you've received Christ's forgiveness. Now it's time to extend forgiveness to everybody that you're holding on forgiveness to. And I, and I and I told the crowd, I said, oftentimes when people do this, they experience this these major healings and these major breakthroughs because sometimes even our physical body, we could um, have bitter, you know, the Bible talks about how like bitterness could even rot your bones. And so this woman, she had rheumatoid arthritis and we caught this on film, but as soon as she began to forgive, all of a sudden the neuropathy and arthritis left her hands and they completely opened. And wow. she was just like screaming, like, you know, I'm healed, I'm healed, I'm healed. And we saw stories like that happen all over the United States, which is partly what this movie is like showing. And then what I do is I encourage people, you know, we're not, uh, we're not spiritual weirdos. And so we, we, like my church is a multi-site national church that's filled with medical professionals. So I, I encourage people go, let the doctor confirm what the great physician already did. And so they, that's just one of many, many stories of radical healing. We have so many um, people who felt tumors and cysts dissolve like underneath their skin. And then within months after that would mail us or email us the doctor's reports of those things happening. And, you know, not a hundred percent of the people that we prayed for got healed, but I always say a hundred percent of the people we don't pray for don't get healed. <laughs> So I'd rather take a risk and, and leave it up to God than not pray for it at all.